Ah, hello. I was just um, cleaning push, you know, because important that it's clean. <laughs> okay, that's the um, comedy intro for this video, which is an update because I've been having a lot of receiving a lot of questions and, and uh, messages from you um, about the new material I'm making for my online school. And I thought I'd try and answer it here. And also because I kind of just, I need to talk to someone. <laughs> um, don't worry, everything's fine. Um, everything is fine. No, <laughs> I've um, been working really, really hard uh, I, and I'm not, um, just saying that basically the last three weeks, every single day I've been recording and editing material uh, for the first course of many. And it's been, wow, like I've never done something as big as this. This is really, really uh, an amazing challenge. And, and it's going well. And I've recorded a lot of material and it's already pretty much all edited and every day I'm working to to edit half of the day, film half of the day, try to get the best energy I can into this uh, project. Um, and where I'm at currently is that what I'm making first is basically the A to Z of push or push two in this case. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a course which is split into two levels. So a beginner level and a kind of intermediate level whereby I talk us through everything I know about Ableton Push and the way that we can use all the different modes in detail, how that relates to making music, playing live, um, just being creative, getting in some kind of flow. And it's it's kind of like um, it's a, like a detailed handbook. It it shows really from the foundations of the concept of the the thing that push is up to the the next level which is using it fluently and and just being aware of of everything i want to make this kind of handbook be something which is basically exhaustive that's what i decided to do we'll see whether that was a good idea or not but i really i thought that was the place to start instead of diving into more complex things it, that if I make this, it's available for everybody or anybody who wants it and can act as a very good foundation for doing things which follow. I am going to also add uh, courses and modules which are all about purely performance setups or composition setups with push and also without. But this is the baseline. So the course that I am working on right now, it's probably around about three and a half to perhaps maybe four hours per level. So three and a half hours for the beginner sec uh, level, which covers push and then three and a half or maybe a bit more for the intermediate section. I, this is the first time I'm doing this that I'm building a course that I'm, you know, basically, yeah, selling. And so I have also my own questions uh, about how best to do this, but my current plan is to offer those separately because some people don't need the beginner part. They they know full well the concepts and 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 what most of the buttons do on push, and some people I think will benefit a lot from having something which is conceptually clear and that takes anybody, even almost really an absolute beginner, and and lays out the landscape of what push does and and how it works because I've met and taught many people where plenty of concepts don't really land the first time and while there is content out there and I'm very aware of this for example on Ableton's own uh, website which details quite uh, some or many of the parameters and functions of push and there are also some online courses you can pay for out there which show how to make a track or how to make um, techno or something. I didn't really come across one which does this in a really, does what I'm trying to do in, in, a, in a comprehensive manner. So I don't forget that 
a lot of this material, a lot of this knowledge you can go and find out there in different places and some of it even for free. The point is to put this all in something which is structured, all in one place, informative, hopefully entertaining. I'm still holding this uh, squeezer thingy. Um, it pumps air, by the way, just in case that wasn't clear. And I'm just seeming like a maniac. Um, and, and this will all be in one place. And well, time will tell if that was uh, of interest to you. I am also going to offer it as a package, which is why I've, I've, had, I've filmed it in such a way that you can follow only the beginner part or only the intermediate part, but you can also follow both pretty seamlessly all together in one. And it'll be, I suppose, for a discounted price. And yeah, that's where I am so far. And honestly, I was sitting here looking and I just finished editing uh, Friday's material and I'm making around about 45 minutes of material every day, which doesn't sound like that much, but basically every minute, of course, involves about minimum 10 minutes of work. I think it might be approaching 15 minutes to make the whole structure of the course, to prepare everything, to make sure I don't forget stuff, to check other material in case there's things that I might not have thought of, to run it through a few times, record it, sometimes uh, re-record it, edit it and and then fill in all of the sort of check boxes I have to make sure I've not missed anything and that it's all in the structure and it's all numbered and categorized and so on. I know I'm an ex-architect, so yeah, old habits die hard. So that's where I'm at. I I've I have I will tell you one or two more things which might be interesting. I filmed it all in 4K, which is not just a nice marketing term, but it's so that we can punch in and zoom into the screen, different parts of push as necessary. I spent a lot of time making sure things look good, are lit well, and that also took some time to set up in the beginning. And I am who I am. I'm also a professional photographer and videographer, and I cannot kill those parts of myself, but I've tried to subdue them. You might see some other videos I'm putting out, which I already made the last few weeks, which are part of the Unstuck series, talking about how I block myself by being a perfectionist and by trying to do things too well um, or not doing them at all. So don't worry if you see those and you say, oh no, he's, he's at a setback, he's, he's, not, he's still not making progress. I am making progress. And uh, I found it difficult to write back to people and tell them it's gonna be ready on this day or that day because it's hard to, to know. It's the first time I'm building something so big uh, and I think would normally be pure, perhaps done by more, more than just one person and obviously during the lockdown, that's not possible. So long story short, I don't want to make promises, but I think, I think, I hope within weeks, not, not a month, it's not a month away, but like within two weeks, I think this, this should be there basically. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm really trying to power through towards. I really thank you for your patience. I also thank you for your messages and, and inquiries. Some of you also asked about individual tutorial, uh, tutorials or, or, or coaching. And I would love to do this. And I would love to also make content around that because so many questions that we have are universal. It's really not easy to, to, to make stuff, be creative, especially these days where we're all locked inside. And I really have a lot of energy to, to talk about that. I think it's super interesting. And I, but I want to do that in a structured way and do it properly. So for those of you who are asking about this and I've maybe not even properly replied to you, I am really sorry and it stresses me out when I feel like I'm not giving people a proper response to their messages um, but yeah I'm just one guy and, and I have my own glitches and imperfections including um, this guy here uh, so yes I think that's a good uh, video that's almost 10 minutes um, I hope you're all really well out there I have seen some small dramas amongst friends who were really not feeling good and and uh, been trying to talk to them and help where possible. Uh, it's, it's this way of life of being on one's own and just working on content I'm kind of used to for the last seven years, just working at home. So maybe it's a little bit easier for me um, and I don't want to show off, I'm just, I'm just saying it's, 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 it's something I, I'm, I'm quite okay being an introvert mostly. And um, if you think your friends out there are struggling, call them up, um, give them some time to, to vent what they need to, to, to tell. 
during this uh, the the times of the of the of the I don't want to mention it because your videos get demonetized if you talk about the the crisis too much but I think you know what I'm talking about and um yes I also had a fun episode where I helped rescue a pregnant cat with the police because there was some cat that had been um forgotten in some building somewhere so that was interesting but anyway that's a massive digression not particularly relevant um I'm very curious to hear if you have any more questions that I can answer in a succinct way in the comment section I would also be very curious to know what you think such a course would be worth. I know, of course, the ideal amount would be free, but as I've explained in other videos, all my work has vanished. I have no income now, and the last weeks I spent on this, I'm hoping to pay the bills uh, with this work. So to be very frank about that, um, I've seen different courses out there from 50 euros, 50 dollars, up to 100 dollars, 100 euros um, of similar lengths and so on and they're gonna it's gonna be in two parts so it could be for example one the beginner part is worth x the other the intermediate part is worth x as well but there's a price z for the two of them together um i'm feeling my way here and it's very important for me that i do something fair for everybody uh, as, as many people as possible and fortunately in the world we live in it's always going to be so it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be a selection uh, in there somewhere. So, but I, I will be coming back to make free material on my YouTube channel. That's for sure. Um, I had an amusing comment yesterday from somebody complaining about one or two inaccuracies on the video, and I did think to myself, it's for free. <laughs> I will reply to that gentleman um, if you're watching uh, one of these days. And yes, hope you're well. Sorry for the very long video. I hope it was at least vaguely entertaining somewhere. I hope you're really doing okay. And I'm relieved that I'm telling you where I am with this. And yes, if you want to hear any more stuff about my thoughts on shaking hands in the air or what I'm doing, I have restarted my podcast called Unstuck. You can hear it everywhere, Spotify, Apple Music, all that kind of stuff. And I'm putting music out on, on my own artist profile as well, as much as I can. But I've not made any music this week because I'm only making this I know, poor me, but I really try my best to get this done. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and, and all the comments and all the support so far. And uh, yeah, ciao for now. <laughs>